Guys, welcome to CrossFit Westgate. Just going to take you through the process of doing some squats and the correct movement and how they should be executed. I'm going to use Tammy here as my model to show you how they're done and a couple of things that can go wrong. So, first of all, I get Tammy to face the wall here. We're going to look at the squat from the side. So, if Tammy goes into a squat, I'm going to show you the correct position you must land in. She's going to squat down and hold it at the bottom. So if you can see here, um, Tammy, the top of Tammy's leg is parallel and less than parallel to the ground. So the hips are going below the knees and our back is nice and straight. And up you go. So just give me five reps. So when you're executing your squat, this is what you're aiming for all the time. You're driving the hips back as far as possible, keeping all the way through the heels and not allowing the knees to come out too far in front of the toes. All right, perfect job. So, just from the front as well, um, when Tammy's squatting, you'll notice that her heels are directly below her shoulders. We don't want to go too wide in the squat because there's um, certain things we have to do with the legs in order to get extra power in there. So, Tammy's going to squat from the front now, just drop down and stand back up. So, you'll notice, do me another one, Tammy's knees also stay out over the toes and continue. Just give me for five reps. The knees do not drift in together. They stay out over the toes. And this is going to activate the IT band at the side and the glutes to give you a lot more power on the upward movement of the squat. Perfect. Turn to the side again. Now, a couple of things that go wrong with our squats that um, can lead to injuries and lead to sore backs and basically a lot of tension built up in the legs. Um, the first thing is if you squat down low and you have tight hamstrings, you can get a thing called a butt wink or the hips rolling in under. So if you drop down, it shows one of those. You can see Tammy's lower back, even if you drop lower, that's it. See the way her lower back rounds off? If you have a weight on your back um, and this happens, you can create, create a lot of injury. Stand up for me. Another one that happens, and it's quite common, people rise up on their toe. So squat down and open to your toes. It's even tricky for Tammy, she's too used to doing them right, okay? Um, so this is stuff you want to avoid. Doing the, the squats this way can lead to tensions being put through the knees that um, will cause a lot of problems, lower back, hips, just, it, it's not good. So what you want to aim for is good quality squats each and every time. If we turn around to the front again, um, give us a squat where the knees drift in. So this sort of thing, you're going to lose power completely. Okay, and again, you're putting a lot of tension on the inside of the knee, and ligaments can be stretched, and again, cause a lot of problems. So what you want to aim for is when you're squatting, to drive the knees out over the toes. So give us a good one where you drive the knees out wide, and up. one more. Perfect. So basically, that's the long and short of how to do your squats. Um, Things to remember, weight is through the heels, you want to drive the hips back, and you want to keep a nice straight back overhead. So Tammy's just going to finish off giving you five reps, facing the wall again, and good quality. Just watch it again, weight through the heels, hips back, back straight. Avoid any butt wink. Trying to get the hips down below the knees. I'm just going to give you one more after this. Perfect. Okay, and that's the basics of how to do your squat. Um, it is the basics of a lot of movements in CrossFit, so this is one of the most important elements. If you get this right from the start, it makes everything so much easier. Okay, giddy up.